The solar collector field at the Danish village Bradstrup is one of the largest solar thermal installations in Europe. Altogether, there are 18,600 square meters of solar collectors. Via a district heating network, the solar collectors provide heat for the whole village, for the school, for the hospital, and for most of the other houses. A group of visitors has come to see how Bradstrup district heating integrates the solar heat into the district heating network. Per, what is the key success factor for solar district heating here in Denmark and especially in Bradstrup? I think there's uh, two main key factors. The one is that uh, uh, most of the combined heat and power companies use gas, natural gas. And the prices for natural gas uh, will be extremely high in the future. It is already uh, very expensive. And we know that the taxes will uh, expand also. So therefore, there is a, an economical uh, issue. Uh, then there is another thing, and it is the maintenance uh, costs are very low, uh, and the maintenance uh, work are very low. So uh, even uh, rather small combined heat and power companies with few, uh, very few employees uh, has the possibility to, to run a solar system. OK, thank you very much. On a sunny day like this, the solar collectors can easily harvest heat at a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius. When needed, this temperature can be used directly for the customers. Or it can be stored in an accumulation tank. At the top of the tank, high temperatures are maintained, so there's always heat for the customers. At the bottom, there's a low temperature, so the solar collectors can always work at a high efficiency. A small heat pump helps to maintain this temperature difference. The borehole storage is still in a pilot phase. It will be extended so it can save solar heat from the summer for the winter. The cogeneration plant only works when electricity is needed in the grid. Thanks to the standardized large-scale solar collectors and other favorable conditions, Bradstrup district heating can produce the solar heat for less than 4 cents per kilowatt hour. In the European project SDH+, scientists, engineers and district heating companies from 14 countries work together to find out how solar heat can be integrated in district heating systems in other countries in Europe. What do you do to make solar district heating a success in the rest of Europe as well? well what we learn from Denmark is that uh, the energy system is changing very much. Uh, we have a strong connection between electricity and heat and all technologies are in integrated. This situation will come to many countries in Europe. We see also here that solar became a very normal part of the energy system and uh, we think that we have to now start building the culture of solar thermal, large solar thermal systems, all the countries and this is the best base to grow it uh, in front of this new energy system background. Thank you very much.